Bitch of Sports Science and Physical Education. Hello, Risa May Leonardo. Okay, how are you? How was that? Um, good afternoon, sir. I'm feeling nervous because as a human, yeah, we can feel it. <laughs> That's all. How does it feel that most of the special awards you actually receive those? Actually, I was overwhelmed until now. I can still feel the pressure, but uh, since the faith is it. here, um, I know God will lead me through victory. That's all. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you now ready to answer the final question? Yes, sir. Okay. I will read it twice, and you have one minute to answer. Okay. okay. Let's do this. Your final question. In the age of TikTok and constant connectivity, the youth might be missing out on the valuable insights our history offers. How can we inspire them to appreciate the lessons of the past while embracing modern technology? I repeat, in the age of TikTok and constant connectivity, the youth might be missing out on the valuable insights our history offers. How can we inspire them to appreciate the lessons of the past while embracing modern technology? Thank you for the question. So as a millennial, we are aware that the past is really vital to know. Without the history, we cannot see what we have right now. We cannot value what we have experiencing right now. So as a millennial, we can promote the old precious moments of the old times by simply making sure that the old videos will be present still on the app of TikTok. Because TikTok is not just an application for the millennials, but also for the um, generations, old generations, I mean, because TikTok is for everyone. And may we always put and inculcate in our mind that TikTok is a platform where we could share vital and essential things and knowledge for the millennials as well. Because millennials are not I just... Stop. Okay. And that will be all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.